For this last tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download an image from Google Images to your iPhoto library and then insert it to pages using the Media tab. Um, the photo I want to download is an example of a image from the real world that demonstrates this psychosocial construct. Um, I'm going to think about the global national level first and I'm thinking about first impressions. I'm making this 48 point font according to the directions. And I remember uh, when Barack Obama was elected president, shortly thereafter he won the Nobel Peace Prize. And a lot of people were shocked that he won it so quickly. But I think the reason he won that so quickly is because he made a very positive first impression globally and uh, was rewarded for that. So I'm going to find an image of Obama getting his Nobel Peace Prize on, on Google here. So I'm going to search for Obama Nobel Peace Prize. And look at Google Images, and uh, let's see here. There you go. There's Nobel, nice and big. So I'm going to choose this one. Now I don't want to uh, copy this URL because I'm still in in Google. I want to copy the URL that is the actual source of the image. So I click on full size image here to the right, and now I can uh, download this photo to iPhoto. So I control click or two finger click and add image to the iPhoto library. And you see it gets imported here as a separate event. Events are like folders. Um, now the place I want to put the URL is in this description tag here. If you don't see it, it's because the inspector isn't open. So you need to press that I. And um, now I can go here and copy. And back here and paste. Now, if you want to be a power user, you can click on this icon to drag the URL and then with your other hand press Command Tab to switch between applications and you got it right there. The reason I do that is so that I always have it there and if I ever were to use this stunning picture of Obama again. And you see it's a separate event. I want to put it in the folder with the rest of my pictures from Lord of the Flies. So, let me put him right in there. Okay, so there, there he is, Obama, right next to the, the beast. Um, now if I go back to pages, I can insert oops, insert here instead. But rather than using the insert choose, since I've got it in iPhoto, it's all integrated through this media tab, which is available in all the uh, iWork apps. So here's my different folders. I got them in Lord of the Flies. And uh, let's see where he is. There we go. Boom. I want you, Obama. All right. Now, I don't, I'm not real keen on the way this is cropped. So you see this edit mask function here. You can use that to change how much of the image you're seeing. I want to get that ear in there. Okay. Now it's a little bit too big, so I'm going to resize the whole thing. Actually, that doesn't work out too poorly at all, because now I've got room for a text caption, which I will create by putting in a text box. And I'll put uh, President Barack Obama receives the Nobel Peace Prize for a positive first impression. Great. Right, be a little bit more specific. All right. And there we go.